Take a look now at the three teen boys in this video from Williamsburg. Police say they punched a six-year-old girl in the chest and then stole her scooter. Now they are wanted by officers. News 4's Erica Byfield is live in Williamsburg, where she spoke to neighbors about this crime. Erica, what goes through my mind is, why would somebody do something like this? Jen, we heard so many neighbors asking us that same question today. Police are telling us that that little girl is going to be okay. But again, as you mentioned there, Jen, so many people are asking why anybody would steal from a child. What is going on with the world? I mean, would you, how could you stoop so low? Police say that this trio did on the corner of Throop Avenue and Bartlett Street in Brooklyn last week. I'm speechless because six years old. This is an angle of video that you will only see on News 4. You see a guy on a bike, his buddies come up behind him. This is Thursday, July 28th, around 5.50 in the afternoon. Eventually, those teens turn left. Detectives say that seconds later, they encountered a six-year-old girl. One of them punched her in the chest. Then the other two swooped in and stole her Razor scooter. The video picks up again as they race down Thorpe. One guy has the scooter in his hands. I think it's crazy how a, a little girl came and ride a scooter, like just to have fun. But it's crazy how troublemakers just want to start now for no reason. I feel like it's sad. It's crazy. Detectives suspect that the attackers are anywhere between the ages of 14 and 16. The photo and these videos are all they have for now. That day, one was in red shorts, another in turquoise shorts. The last one was in gray jeans and a multicolored shirt. The incident has neighbors frustrated, concerned about all the kids in this area. It's ridiculous because there's a lot of kids around this area, especially on this block alone. So on Thursday last week when this happened, EMS treated that little girl on the scene, the, th the six-year-old girl. Detectives are telling us at this point that she did not go to the hospital, but again, they are looking for the public's help to find those three teens. In Brooklyn, Erica Byfield, News 4, New York.